Good day YouTube. On today's episode we're going through quite a few different things. New radiator, new water pump, thermostat, silicone hoses, timing belt. So if you guys have been following my channel, you, uh, you know, you've been following along the story of me building this uh, Zuki here. And uh, you, in the previous episode, I had put an electric fan in here hoping to cool it down. And it helped, but uh, it didn't do, uh, it didn't totally cure the problem. We're still heating up on the highway on on really hot days, you know, 28 degrees Celsius, and it's it's running pretty warm. So it's time for a radiator and, and water pump and thermostat. This thing's never had it. It's still stock that way. So we are, we are gonna get after it. I'm gonna show you how it's all done. And uh, hopefully that cures our problem. And we'll be able to finally run this baby down the highway without getting hot. Should be prepared for the turbo to come here Hopefully sometime this month, I'll be doing a video on that too. So stick around, let's get after it. Get this baby cooled down. So I order a majority of my stuff from Roadless Gear. Uh, prices are good, shipping is always fast. Like I got this stuff here from Montana to Alberta in less than seven days, which is actually pretty good. Most of the time when I order stuff from the States, it's two weeks or more. Um, I had ordered this belt a long time ago when I first started this project, just haven't gotten to it. So here's the radiator, nice aluminum radiator. Looks, uh, looks like it should do the trick. Can't wait to get this thing installed and get it cooled down. I uh, ordered a thermostat. 180 degree thermostat. That should help. Who knows what kind of shape the original is in. I also ordered these uh, silicone hoses. I would have liked to have gotten a green color, would have been awesome, but they didn't have such a thing. So I just got the black, that's fine. It'll do the job, what's intended for. And uh, <laughs> this big water pump, I actually got this water pump locally at my part, local park store here in town, but what a monster, eh? This thing is, <laughs> this thing is huge, so hopefully, uh, Hopefully this is the right part. So anyhow, oh yeah, water pump gasket even, perfect. So anyhow, let's get after it and let's get this little rig cooled down. It'll be awesome. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna let the coolant out of the radiator, pop the top off so it doesn't create a vacuum and it drains quicker.
I've always been told before you do, you know, anything with timing, you uh, you line up your timing marks. So here is a reference. Here's your timing mark on your cam gear. And there should be one down on the crank. The crank reference mark is this little dot right there and it should line up with this line right here and all this stuff is is fairly similar whether it's uh, you know a Chevy small block or whatever they they all have their timing marks that line up so you just crank it over until all the marks line up. At the same time. Okay. Here we're coming up on the line. We can see our line coming up to mark here and our dot is coming up to line up there. So we'll bring it, bang on, looks, looks like it's bang on. So we'll leave it like that and uh, the reason you do that is when you take this belt off, if anything turns, you have reference marks where to line stuff back up again and it, it really shouldn't turn. no idea when this timing belt was done last so that's why I'm gonna replace it and it looks in good shape I could probably leave it but you're better off saving it sorry when you don't know how long this stuff has been you're definitely better off safe than sorry. Now that little belt looks like it's in decent shape. Now it should be just a matter of these water pump bolts. be able to just shock it with a wooden block. I like to just double check, make sure everything's the same and it looks identical. Yeah. It should be good.